Hello, everybody, and happy Monday. So glad you're with us today. Hope you're having a great, great day and off to a great week. We are here at Christ Church, and I'm so glad we've got this time together. Joining me today for the next few days is Pastor Val Trees. Pastor, I'm glad here you're with me. Here we are again. Yep. Here we are again <laughs> in the midst of some of the craziest times I believe that Never I known. have ever been. Ever known. And maybe, you know, not only things are great, but the spiritual warfare right now, Pastor, it's, is unheard of. It's immense. And it I really think is. People literally, you know, it's that saying is it, it's like you could cut it with a knife. Mm -hmm. I believe it's that thick right now. Yeah. Yeah. And of course, you need to cut it with a knife. It's yeah. called the sword of the spirit, yeah, which is the word of faith. <laughs> and you need to be using that knife and cutting this thickness. And cut, literally cutting this darkness out of your system and out of your life. You, you know, uh, just before we went on the air, Chad was sharing something with us, how how this is working right now, that even in one of our services recently mm -hmm. that we were doing, when you and I mm -hmm. were up prophesying and declaring and everything, it was creating issues. Yeah. The enemy was at yeah. work. Within the electrical yeah. system. And that's yeah. nuts to think that happens, but this stuff is a real, real deal. Well, we're looking at uh, the battle from the prince of power of the air, uh. which we know to be Satan, and he's doing his deal. But the key, and, and the vital key, is God always wins. Come Therefore, on. his people, his church, always wins. And boy, we, we cannot lose focus of that truth. That's so good. We can't. Pastor, we're going to talk the next few days of helping people stay in faith. Yes. Because I believe right now people's faith have been shaken. Uh -huh. I know I've heard this from other ministers. People are reeling. What's going on? Why did this happen? Why is that happening? And, you know, if, if like me, I've shut the news feed off because I'm telling you, I can get in and, man, it just messes with yeah. me. i got to be honest. Yeah. But but our faith is being shaken. It is. And what we want to do is to be able to stay in faith. You know, Paul said something uh, in Second Corinthians. Now, he was talking about the coming of the Lord. He said, now, brethren, concerning the coming of our Lord Jesus and the gathering together to him, we ask you, not to be not to be soon shaken in mind or troubled either by spirit or by word or by letter. Absolutely. And it is so easy for us to get shaken. Pastor, how do we help people stay solid in a time like well, this? Well, one of the things you had mentioned to me you wanted to do is we're going to talk about over these next few days. We're going to talk about the issue of not letting your faith waver. Mm. You believe God. You believe his prophets. And see, there's a great question now. People are throwing out this. Well, did all the prophets miss it? Is everybody missing everything? But you see, if you base your assumptions on the things of the world, you will always look at the prophets and everything else in a negative manner. You've got to look at what has God said and did God say this? Not, well, did he really say this? No, God said this. And we're going to stand on it. Exactly. And we're not going to waver from it, not in a little bit. <clears throat> you know, you alluded to the fact earlier, Pastor, that God always wins. I think that's the importance of, of really God gave us the Bible and the way he did from Genesis to Revelation. Absolutely. Not just giving us a part, but he gave us stories and he shows us how he's dealt with his yeah. people. And yeah. there were a lot of times, I want to tell you, it looked like God waited to the very last minute, to the very last second, and absolutely looked like his people were going to fail, but God came through. Well, if we look at Hebrews 12, all through Hebrews 12, it says, by faith, by faith, by, by faith. faith, and it lists all these characters. Then it says, but all of these by faith did this, but never received the promise or the promise of mm. heaven in yeah, that yeah, time. Yeah. But by faith, they all operated. They all operated like they were supposed to. In fact, the first verse says, seeing we have this great cloud of witnesses, let us move forward. We have tremendous witness of the power and the truth and the faithfulness of our God. Don't give up in the fight. Don't waver don't fall away let god be god and let's let him 
take care of the end result. You know, Pastor, that is so true. And I want to remind us what the Word says in Romans chapter 10, verse 17, I believe it is. It says, Faith cometh by hearing, <laughs> and hearing the Word of God. Faith cometh by hearing. So your faith is going to be rocked by what you are listening to at this moment. We want you to stay focused to God. Listen to what the Lord is saying, what the prophets are saying. We believe that God is going to show us the victory.